Hi everyone, Kinnan Lea from Hills Whispers. Um, um, I just want to show you this stone. Um, it's um, called the Mary Stone. And I don't know if you can get a good look at it there. It's quite big. Um, and it's on the Mary line. So um, it's the one that's calling to me. Um, I won't just say today, but before we even got here, um, before we even arrived in the area, um, it taught me, Spirit taught me that I, I was to come to this area. Now, it's one of the busiest kind of spots in some ways, so there's people coming by every so often. So I'm just going to walk around the stone so you can kind of get an idea of it. Um, can just so just taking in that um, view of the stone um, yeah some they thought it was tilting and they dug down I think something like two and a half meters or so um, uh, but they realized that it probably was down three and a half or so meters and um, so they stopped that kind of point of excavation to see if they could prop it but it's still standing so I think it's fine so I just I have just asked the stone when I came in uh originally to this area was it okay to come over and it said yes and okay to to talk and to chat to us so let's let's see what's happening so hello <laughs> so just send hello to the stone Quite a modern energy, quite a strong energy. Very, very, yeah, that very deep energy into the ground, that very arcting energy. And very strong connection with child energy. Um, so that modern energy that um, minds the child, connecting. A lot of fertility energy with this stone. Um, yeah, let's talk about seed, seeding and seedlings. Um, so this, this stone really, it's got so many beautiful little, tiny little curves on it. Um, it's just almost like, I don't know, probably not so much water now, but just the energy that's coming there, um, like as if it's... Um, that curvature energy that we do associate with the, the with the divine feminine, and it's such a big stone, it's uh, kind of almost hard to get a a grasp on it in in some ways that you're standing so far. You can nearly see like it's way above my head, so it's I don't know, must be at least ten, probably twelve, thirteen foot. I'm not sure at all, maybe more. <laughs> so let's see, let's do. And so it's it's talking about embrace, to embrace, embrace life, embrace what is, embrace the energy, embrace the self. It's talking about allowing the stillness, to allow the stillness to be present. feels like the ever so gentlest, soft, like little threads, very gentle, very soft, very fine threads just flowing, almost like a dress, you know, like a silk dress, like that fine treading um, where it's connecting down into the earth. And it's, it's kind of saying, Come and let me hold you. And it, it's it's just such a big stone. It's so quiet. It's so quiet in the stone energy. Do you 
you know, it's like as if when you see or imagine a mother and she's watching her children at play and then they run up to her and she just opens her arms and puts her arms around them and they know they're safe, they know they're okay. Um, it allows them to run off again and have fun because she's there for them. And this stone is very much holding that energy of safety, of protection, of beauty. And it's now beginning to bring in a star energy. I think because I allowed myself to come into the energy that she showed me first and to let myself feel the treads of energy. You feel almost um, kind of a greenish blue, very light greenish blue, uh, lighter than turquoise now, but very light uh, colored treads going down. She's now showing me the star energy because she says the goddess is always connected with the stars. You're always connected with the stars. We're all connected to the stars. She's just showing this beautiful stream of light coming down from the stars now, which is more of kind of um, a yellowish golden light color. It's just beautiful. And it just, it just flows down, it flows out her hands, her arms. She's just, and it's just oozing into the earth as she connects with the earth. And it's really important for us to allow ourselves to be in that space. That beautiful energy. So I hope if you're listening, you're able to let yourself tune in and tap into that beautiful energy that is connecting. She's talking about the clarity that when you find that you allow yourself to go into that space and tune into the light energy, that there's more clarity and ease. She's now working with the pineal gland, working with the whole system of the body. Pineal gland now is very strong. She's showing me the pineal gland. Showing me that there are quadrants in the four chambers in the pineal gland. Now, I'm not sure on a physical level what actually is scientifically seen in the pineal gland. Um, but I know it's the orange, all the hormones, etc. and other glands in the body. So with the structure uh, of it on a physical level I'm not sure but, but she's she's talking about the quadrants of the pineal gland and it's almost like she's showing me as if it's click 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 and that each one once it's activated the next one is activated then the next one and then the next one um that's about understanding who we are I just asked her um what what is the purpose of these uh, this energy clicking into place in these four quad quadrants and she's saying that it's about understanding who you are, who we are uh, in alignment with the universe. It releases us or dismisses the um, imperfections of the divine within the human so it's it's like a gateway that um, is opened within your perception your perceiving your awareness your ability to know and now there are just streams of energy flowing I, I nearly feel emotional there's so much So much. So much beautiful energy coming through that game. 
There's so much us. There's so much coming in for us, every one of us. We're so connected to that light. I feel so embraced by it. And so privileged to be looking at that light, to be experiencing it. I think it's that connection, that feeling of the divine home energy that's been shown. It's almost overwhelming my um, emotional field. <laughs> and it's it's an overwhelming joy. <sighs> wow. If you are in April at any stage, do come on to work with this story. That light that's coming through is just, it's just beyond the sun energy. It's beyond, it's beyond the light that it's not blinding me. It's just so gentle. It's just, it's indescribable. The amount of light that is coming through that portal when they activate, when spirit activates and connects with the pineal, when your pineal is activated. It's, it's, I, I know I'm emotional, but it's, it's, it's actually really, really gentle so powerful and yet so gentle i could just you know allow my body to be lying in that almost like as if i could be floating in it and just let it stream through there's a great sense of wisdom of bringing through that wisdom it's like a cord of connection it's a doorway it's a gateway they're telling me very much so that it's the doorway, the gateway within the human body as that divine connection comes through the pineal gland. I'm just the energy is just so strong. I, I, I don't know what else I can say. And I, it feels so gentle and so strong, which sounds like a bit of a contradiction. But it's it's not. It, it, it is the, um, the level of energy that is there to work with us. Um, and that we are and that we come from. So as we find places like this, and many other places in the world, points where we we'll allow ourselves to tune into that light, to that energy, and allow ourselves to to work with the activation in truth and harmony, in total respect and love. Then we begin to activate ourselves, to remember, to to be in. I just. Honestly, I think this is one of the most um, powerful spots. Um, that I have been in in the world. There has been one or two others, one in Egypt. And um, also in that little church in Italy where St. Francis was. Um, and this is very much to define feminine. I should have brought the box of tissues. <laughs> um, do, but don't let that put you off coming here because it is it is actually the beauty and uh, the joy and the amazement that is that is affecting or hitting my emotional body that I don't know how else to um, process um, how beautiful this is. Um, I can feel it all around my ribs. 
I can feel it flowing in my heart chakra, front and back. I can feel it in my chest area. Um, it's like it's activating the heart energy, and I think that's why it's bringing such a beautiful emotional feeling on a human level to me. And it's it's wonderful to think that this stone is actually on the Mary line, which means that that energy is running through the Mary line and holding the Mary line. So if you are anywhere connected to any spot or any stone or anything, tree or anything that's on the Mary line, I'm sure you can go and work with it or even if you just call in this energy and maybe sit and meditate. You don't have to go anywhere. Tune into the pineal gland. Feel your feet on the ground. Feel your roots going down, maybe with that beautiful bluish green treads of light. Connect to the star energy above. And just let it act and ask your spirit, you know, light to just allow that light to gently because it is a very gentle energy to gently work with your pineal. It's always important to only do what you feel really comfortable with. If you ever feel that an energy is too much or anything, just step back. There's no rush. You should always be minding your physical body, allowing it to, to come to the space when it's ready. And um, I'm in so much joy with this that I that I don't mind um, allowing myself to feel these energies because I just I just love them. Um, they're so beautiful, so powerful, and um, it's just really wow. No wonder was calling. <laughs> we drove hours yesterday to get here, and um, it was worth definitely worth it and I know I'll be back <laughs> and um, I'm going to take a lot of this energy home with me and um, I can't wait to um, to really um, work some more in my meditations with this energy and to contemplate it more uh, when I'm when I'm anywhere really but definitely when I'm home and I hope to write some more on this when I'm home because I know that energy is as I speak now all over the planet. It's showing me grids all over the planet. It's showing me access all over the planet because the planet is connected to the universe, connected to the stars, everything's interconnected. So they're telling me you don't have to be standing here, but the access point that allows and that I came to in myself today um, and followed the calling to come here to this stone today um because when i got here yesterday i looked over into this field with the stone and it said tomorrow so we went and we looked we looked at other stones um, and it said tomorrow so there's always guidance maybe it was quieter here today maybe it was just the right time of day i don't know um but because i followed it then spirit knows it can just lead me to where I need to be, what it wants to show me, what I'm going to translate. Um, it's all perfect. <laughs> it's not wonderful that we live in a perfect world. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to thank this beautiful Goddess Mary Energy Stone. <sighs> I can feel my feet are starting to actually pulse now with the vibration. Um, so sending all this love, light energy to all those out there, female, male, um, children, everyone, just the beautiful energy, sending it out there now and hope you can tune into it if you're listening to this at any time, at any stage. Um, know you're connected to that divine energy and you don't even have to go somewhere. Just tune in. So... For now, goodbye from Fanula at House Whisperers. So the website is www.housewhisperers.ie and I hope to get uh, more videos up there and so you can tune into them. Um, so yeah, all right. Okay, bye.